Hey guys, Golden Party here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fold the origami flapping bird. Well, sort of. I'm going to be showing you how to fold the origami crane pop up card designed by Jeremy Schaefer. See, it flaps. It's the same thing as that flapping bird that I just showed you, but now it's inside a card. But one sheet of paper. Wanna fold it? Ready, set. Here we go. All right. For this model, I need one square sheet of paper. You can really use any size, but I like six inch. It's a pretty small result, but I like the size, and it makes it look pretty cute. All right. So you're gonna begin by. Folding diagonally in half both ways. Just like so. So this model is pretty cool, and don't worry, you don't you don't have to fold a thousand. <laughs> and unfold. And now we have an X in the paper. And now we're gonna make a blend space. And how we do that is we fold all four corners to the center. But take your time. And fold precisely. Neatness does matter to blend space, or else it will look weird. For some models, it doesn't really matter too much, like the traditional lotus flower. Neatness doesn't really matter to that model, because the model gets picking. Please, so you kind of make the creases offline, anyways. For something like this, just try to make it nice. But it does matter. Now you're just gonna unfold a flap. Doesn't matter which flap. Okay, just unfold one, and then you're gonna mount and fold this in half. If you want, you can turn it over and die fold. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. So I can get it very nice. Like this. And now, you're gonna fold this flap to the top. Like this. And fold this this corner to this corner. The camera's not wanting to focus. There we go. And don't unfold it. And gonna open this pocket and gonna squash it down. Like a, like a square base. And now I'm going to fold the sides, these, your flaps, fold them to the center. Yes. And we okay, have that. Now, I'm gonna basically do a pedal fold for reverse folding these, this flap on existing creases. Alright, how I like to do it, well, I didn't really do it like this before, but you can unfold this flap. You can see there's these creases, like this. Gonna make them all mount folds and see this one's already a mount and fold, so you you just have to change this one. That 
See how it flattens by itself? It's pretty easy. Just change these creases to, to look like that. And close it up. There it is. The reverse fold. And now I'm gonna oh we had it like this, but it needed to be like that. Okay, now we're gonna make a eye fold that goes from this point to this point. And it should go through all layers. So I'll use this part. Like that. See, a little line there now. Now we're gonna fold this flap down. Like this. Alright, now we're gonna make another valley fold. And this valley fold will go through this black dot and this black dot. There's a crease here, and there's the black dot. There's She's here, and there's the black dot. You're gonna fold it in between. So make a line that goes from here to there. Well, you actually want to crease all the way. So it looks like this. And don't unfold. Alright. Well, I guess we actually do need to unfold it. Alright. See, we unfolded it. I'm gonna pull these, pull this down. And we are going to make a mount fold on this line, and this point should be even with that line, like this. Just like that. And then we are going to mountain fold for well mountain fold on this crease. Sorry, I'm looking in the book. So that's why I sound weird on some parts. I don't remember completely how to make it. And put it on all layers. Alright. See, now it's back here. Okay, now we're going to reverse fold on this crease. Alright, now keeping this flap folded, I'm going to reverse fold like this. It's pretty cool. And this flap should just stick out or not. <laughs> oh, it doesn't really matter too much. Well, now here comes a kind of tricky stuff for beginners. Well, it might be. So, we're gonna make this a valley fold. And see, it's a generous fold, but we want it to be a valley. So, poke this in. Poke it in there. Fold 
this flap up. And see, there's the mechanism. And you can adjust the head however you want. If how you folded it didn't please you. Just like that. Now we're going to reverse fold to form the head. And close it back up. Sorry, this, this fold takes me a while to you know this. Alright, so I'm back. So we have the crane, and you close it, and you rotate 180 degrees, so it's upside down. And, you know, well, I just figured it out. <laughs> okay, I figured it out again. Now we're going to fold this flap up or down, however you're holding it. And have it even with the wing here. And this fold matters pretty bad. And now you're gonna make a squash fold. And make sure this line is even with this. And Reverse fold. And there's a flap. Unfold it. And that's how, that's the where you hold to make the model flap. P on this side. Squash this flap. And reverse fold. And fold it. And, and there it is. The crane pop up card. Designed by Jeremy Schaefer. And this one's going to be for Crystal Flint. Enjoy it. Alright. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and we're able to follow my tutorial on how to make a crane pop-up card. If you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.